Oi. Okay, let me start this video on a good note. I know it's a little dark because I intended not to actually uh, do this vlog during the day, but I had to get some stuff done. My work was kind of getting out, out of hand, so I just wanted to get it done and so that tomorrow is on a fresh new note and um, everything will be all ready to go to start a brand new day. Oh my gosh, I think I want to, I talk too much. <laughs> Hey guys, your girl Karina here again, and I am in PJs. <laughs> um, yeah, I literally had a bad tummy ache just uh, earlier today, and um, I guess it was just a lot of air. So that's why there's been a little hold up. But anyways, so I hope you all have been really embracing, you know, every moment of the day. And today I want to talk about being still with God. I know during this time of the quarantine, a lot of us are trying to embrace the whole slowing down and trying to really, you know, embrace of what's ac actually happening right now. And essentially, like, you know, we should all really take this time to really be quiet and to be silent with God. And really, it's <laughs> for people like me, I always like to be on the go, go, go. And I know it's not easy for those out there that are full of adrenaline, social butterflies, always like to be on the go, and, and constantly like to be with people. And that's pretty much like how I like to do it all the time. I always like to be, you know, going out every day and um, trying to find out what's next you know, plan something new for next week, and pretty much on the go. And for me, um, during this time, you know, I really appreciate how, like, God's really given me the opportunity to just breathe, take it easy, take a step back, and, you know, be quiet and silent with Him so that He'll be, you know, able to talk to me and really you know, enlighten me in terms of what I should do next. And for those out there, like, you know, prefer that prefer to be in silence and solitude with God, you know, good for you. <laughs> um, because for me, I find it through, you know, through music, praise and worship, that's where I find my connection and love for God and my faith. And, you know, that's just how I am. And, you know, during this time, I feel that me, for sure, God wants me to take this opportunity to re-energize myself and to really, you know, um, focus on Him and quiet, be quiet from like all the noise. And um, yeah, so that like by the time this is all over, you know, I'll be more than ready and more than ener like with energy more than ever and. Definitely for sure, like, I think that's how I look at it now, and I really need to, you know, get on that and, um, start doing my part. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, as I was saying, like, definitely for sure, like, we all have to really, you know, take this time to be in silence and solitude with God, and for us to be able to hear what He has to say, and a lot of the times we always, you know, we always say our prayers and we always, you know, do all the talking and then once, you know, God wants to speak to us, we're not really want we're not really there to listen. So that's why I like, you know, being sad and solitude with God, it really gives us that opportunity to really listen to what God wants us to hear and for what our hearts want to hear. And you know, we should really embrace it because sometimes like some of us, i.e. me, <laughs> we can't really deal with, um, you know, being alone and in silence too much. And constantly, like, for example, I always like to have my headphones all the time when I'm walking, when I'm working out, when I'm working, um, when I'm doing my job, or reading, everything. Like, I constantly always have to have my headphones on, listen to praise and worship songs, and it really zones me in in terms of uh, focusing and concentrating on what, I'm, on what I need to focus on and given the fact that I am a music kiddo so that kind of just leads to that point <laughs> but um but yeah so that's why like 
you know, t at first with this whole quarantine, it's just been a struggle because I'm not used to getting up and staying at home. It's always like, get up, shower, dun, 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 it's like one after the other. And, you know, that's why, like, I'm really grateful that God really gave me this opportunity to work at home, be more on a relaxed level, and um, to just embrace this whole, like, silence in, um, in the, during this time and definitely for sure like that's why you know there's a song that i sang called be still my soul and i love how that song really speaks about how you really have to just you know be still with god and to allow him to work within us without you know without being anxious of what happens or or frustrated or doubting of what's happening next. We just have to just breathe, inhale, exhale, and just, you know, embrace like what God wants us to hear from Him. And I love that song a lot. Be Still My Soul by Carrie Job. You guys should listen to it. Be Still My Soul. Um, it's a great song. I sang it just last Christmas um, at St. Joseph. And you know, I love it, you know, and uh, I really hope it speaks to you guys when you guys listen to it. And honestly, like, we have to really take that to heart in terms of, you know, being still with Him. And with that in mind, like, you know, being still with God, it's, it's not easy though because we, again, we want constant answers, like instant answers. Like when you type something in Google, it's always just like, now, now, now. But like with God, it's just like... You just have to really, you know, surrender it all, place in his hands and be like, okay, God, this is what, you know, this is what I love in my life. These are my passions. Just take that and see how you want me to use that for your glory. And a lot of the times, like, you know, for me, like, when sometimes when I really want to be very proactive in my music ministry, um, it tends to be a little bit of a challenge for me because I always want the answers of like, you know, what's gonna happen next, where does God want me to lead me, which parish next, like, it's all these like, you know, question marks in my mind, always asking like, hey, you know, what's, uh, what's next, you know, what's cooking, you know, and I, I know it's, um, I guess like for those out there that are more like, just you know, taking it easy and being more laid back. Whereas for me, I'm always like constantly wanting to just keep going and to not stand still. And that's just part of my who I am and it's my personality. But like, you know, kudos to you out there that really like to just stand still <laughs> um, and chill. And, you know, kudos to you guys because um, I really need to learn that skill and really apply that, especially nowadays with the whole quarantine. And, you know, it's that's why I, I take it as a challenge, I guess, for during this time of quarantine to really um, allow God to work within me during this time and during this time of practicing social distancing. And yeah, like as much as I love to be out there constantly meeting people, um, you know, God's really giving me that opportunity to just you know, polishing up my, um, you know, my skills for him and, and, uh, you know, I got, like, for you guys too, like, just take this time to allow yourself in letting God work within you in silence and, um, you know, sometimes we just have to just be quiet and, you know, just like God speak to us in certain ways that, you know, you never know how, um, uh, you know how god will be able to find that and i'm not gonna lie like uh it's already what like day nine i think or day ten and i'm already i already stopped counting day one two three four five because it's just like i don't know when this is gonna end and only god knows when this is gonna end really and so that's why like you know i just take each day as a blessing and the fact that i wake up and the fact that I'm breathing and the fact that like, you know, I still have my five senses. It's just, those are the very basic things that like I really am grateful for that like some of us maybe don't realize that we take for granted. 
and the fact that we all have a roof over our heads. It's all like the very, very simplistic things that we tend to forget when we're on the go. And so that's why like, you know, during this time of being in like quarantine mode, it's just, you know, we really have to be more simplistic with God and to be able to let God make us more simple in the ways we live our lives. Like instead of buying things that are you know, are not really necessary in our lives. We should we should just really focus on, you know, things that are non tangible, like spending time with our family, having more chats with people that, you know, we've lost touch with. And, you know, it's all these things that like we literally don't really think about when we're on the go and essentially like you know, we tend to forget that and then time flies by so fast and you don't realize until it's like oh like you know this is happening or like this is happening or like it's someone's birthday and it just with those milestones it just makes us realize that you know time and time is just passing and sometimes like we're too busy to make to realize that like you know there are things that we should be more focusing when like, we're focused on and you don't realize that until you know a certain point in our life so that's why like you know sometimes we just have to like stop planning too far ahead of ourselves and to not let that overwhelm us too much to the point where it's just like you know really just take a step back breathe <laughs> inhale exhale and just you know let god lead the way because I got like for me I tend to be very optimistic sometimes like I constantly plan 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 and I always like you know try to make myself really busy all the time and I personally I like that just to you know keep myself occupied keep my mind going constantly and that's just me I know me for some of you guys you don't want to plan too far ahead so it doesn't overwhelm you um, too much and that's great um, everyone's different everyone has their way of you know living their life and I respect that and I understand and that's why like going back to the topic be still with god is just you know that's why for it really needs to be applied for people that are always on the go and uh, to just take it easy and not let you know the world you know lead you too much <laughs> and for god to really just like lead the way and for you to have your heart open to see what god has planned next and um yeah with that like you know a lot of thoughts are going to come into our minds like a lot of deep deep thought that are, are going to be constantly coming to our minds during that silence and yeah like you know in application to myself like at first when this whole quarantine thing happened a lot of the times like you know my thoughts that were so suppressed um really arose to the surface and really it wasn't easy for me to endure that at first because you know it was just it was so suppressed that like i constantly kept on being self-denial about it and you know now that like you know this whole quarantine thing happened i was able to really face those inner thoughts that i've been having for a while and i was able to really face that and you know deal with it and to really you know deal with it and to be able to you know put it to rest like a good good rest and um you know it felt so assuring afterwards it felt so you know like uplifting afterwards because you know it's the more you suppress something the more it will you know really hit you in the face once you're alone and on your own with your inner thoughts and that's why like i'm really glad and happy and grateful with this quarantine time that i was able to really face those inner thoughts uh, before those thoughts of mine became deeper and deeper for me to who knows maybe not endure them after a while so yeah like that's why like i feel that during the silence and solitude with god it will really help you guys to be able to detoxify all of those inner thoughts that, that have been bothering you for the longest time and for you to face them the point that like you can actually you know deal with it and then put it to rest and you know put it to rest in god's hands and that he will actually take care of it from there i mean at first it's not easy to actually endure it because like you know it comes all at you at once and for me it came at me all at once and so it wasn't easy to actually 
you know, face it at first, but then, you know, when I really thought it out and went after I really surrendered into God's hands, it really helped a lot. And so that's why this time of silence is a really good opportunity for me to detoxify of all the, you know, the thoughts that I've been having and um, all those doubts and frustrations that I've been really suppressing for like the longest time. And, um, you know, it's if it really helped me, I'm sure it will help you guys too. And that's why like, you know, being still with God, He has His way. And, you know, God has His way of being able to really, you know, break us down into, you know, um, smaller pieces so that He will be able to heal us into someone better and for us to heal into you know someone with great potential to accomplish great things and so that's why like you know when god gives us these opportunities to be alone and you know silence with him at first it may not be easy um because you know we're always constantly with people and um I guess for those who are very extroverted and uh, social butterflies, um, yeah, like definitely for sure, like, you know, like taking this time to really be silenced with him, it's both, you know, God breaking us down to be able to, you know, um, arise to the surface all the things that have been bothering us for the longest time and for us to face those and to realize that like, you know, he has the best strength and the guidance for us to be able to move forward from that and for us to be able to, you know, go from that point on. So really, it's it's all learning process, but at the end of the day, we have to be able to have our hearts open to him so that he'll be able to work within us for the better. And it's a lot of trusting in God too, like each virtue goes hand in hand, like you have to trust in Him, you have to have patience with Him, you have to be able to endure whatever He has planned for us, whether it's not in our favor at times, as I mentioned in my previous videos, and definitely for sure we have to be able to endure the, sh you know, all the struggles that are in front of us, you know, to be able to face those challenges that we may be resentful at first to take on but over time it will actually be you know the best going forward so really that's why like with god there's so many like great things that you know he knows that you can do it's just like you know are you willing to really you know let go of certain things in your life that have been you know you thought that have been like keeping you up there high in the sky but but really that but really we're actually just holding you down on earth even more so being with god and being so with god it's like you know it's, just, it's a lot of letting go of things in your past that you may be struggle to let go of but you know once you let go of that God will actually make you into more, into a more, into more simplistic person that you never thought possible for yourself. And, you know, at first it may be like, wow, like, I don't want to do this. Or no, I don't even dare to even, you know, make these changes in my life because it's just, it's part of who I am. It's my second nature. I don't want to let it go right like that would be those first inner thoughts in your mind that you might be having and yeah i mean i've gone through that phase in my life where it's just like when someone tries to tell me a challenge or a change to embrace and to take on i'll be like mm -hmm. sure <laughs> what like that would just be my first um you know reaction in my mind but then like you know when god really works within you you really look at those challenges as a way of God trying to purify you to become someone that, you know, someone better in God's image and in, and in God's eyes. And so that's why, like, nowadays, like, when I hear any, you know, ideas that I can improve on or any things on my past that I should be letting go, 
or uh, should be you know executing in my life like yeah I look at it as a way that like I am one step closer to becoming better in Christ's eyes and yeah it's honestly it's the way you look at it like a lot of the times you know a lot of us would think it in a negative connotation because you know it's like right away oh no it's affecting my ego but no like we shouldn't be looking at it like that we should be looking at it like you know this is a step to becoming more simple in god's eyes and um and for us to be you know one step closer to becoming a better ambassador of christ and so that's why like you know nowadays like when i am told like something that i should take on as a new challenge in my life i'll be like okay it's gonna be a big project <laughs> but um I'll, I'll just get on it like I, I call it a project because you know it's something due and it's something that i should be doing and no procrastination and that's the way you know i that's the way i look at it you know and uh, that's kind of is the nature of my work anyway so either way it goes hand in hand <laughs> um and definitely for sure like you know going to the challenges and changes like we when we say that we're gonna do it and when we tell someone we're going to be doing it we have to assure that person like you know we're not just doing it for them we're actually doing it you know for god and really like we just have to really know that you know when people are telling us a change that we may be a little resentful at first like we have to really you know look at it like you know god's trying to talk to you but through someone um you know that's close to you in your life so really like we should really take it seriously <laughs> we can't just be like oh it's just like a little like feather just like lock it and brush it off no like it's just you know look at it like as if jesus is actually talking to you and having like a one-on-one -on -one conversation with you and be like okay my child you know like the, you're doing good so far, but like these are things you gotta like remove from your life or just like you know detach from this part of your life and yeah like it's going to be tough but like you know when you let go of that and become more simplistic in my eyes you will be a better you know a child of God and so that's why like you know I in that with that said like i always like to have this image in my mind that i was told a while back that when both when all of us come and meet god one day face to face okay just imagine that okay he will god will present on one hand all the things that you know you did in your life with the gifts that god blessed you with and you know all the things that you did but then on the other hand are things that you could have done could have done you know with the gifts that god blessed you with i personally always like to keep that image in my mind all the time because i don't know what's on the other hand that is literally like i'm missing out on i it could literally just be like right in front of my face but like I'm so blind to it because I'm just like so blurred out from all the things around me and I'm um, so distracted by like by this task, by this task, by this task. And so really that's why like I ho I want you guys to really like think and imagine what is in this hand that like you guys are missing out on. You know, and not that to scare you like imagine it uh, like like god is actually you know in a loving caring manner in front of your eyes and just being like my child what are you new how come you must have on these you know and um i look at it that way i look at it that way because you know god is so loving god's so caring god's so you know everything lovingly and full of mercy and grace for us and we really have to just like stop thinking that like god is just like that punisher that's just like hey 
you did this wrong, you did this wrong. <laughs> no, it's just like, we really have to embrace God's love and mercy and grace to, for us to keep on becoming better, like for ourselves. And, you know, he loves us very much. He really does. And that's why, like, a lot of the times when bad things happen in our lives, we think, okay, you know, I did something wrong. What did I do wrong to deserve this? Like, that was always my first impression all the time to think, like, okay, this was, this some like, you know, this happened in my life. What did I do wrong before that, that I deserve this to happen to me? You know, I always think about that all the time, but nowadays i look at it in the mindset that like god's actually trying to lead me to something better than i always thought for myself and so yeah that's why for you guys like just imagine that you know image with god placing his two hands in front of you and just you know trying to give you that courage and enlightenment that's like what's in this hand that i'm missing you know and um you know, as much as for you guys out there that are very involved in your young adult ministry or any ministry, if it's music or anything, good job. You know, God bless you all. Um, and, you know, for those that are still seeking to see what God has in store for you, you know, just keep your heart open, really. And, you know, God will really speak to you in your heart. He will show you the direction and the way and he knows what will, make, what will make you happy like yes there's going to be some you know turbulences here and there but like overall like when you really endure those it will make you stronger better and a better soldier for christ and and a better warrior for christ so that's why like you know we should really like embrace every moment that we have in our life if it's you know, certain experience that we go through in life, or work, or family, it could be anything, you know, embrace that with a whole heart, and to be able to face that, and really know that God's trying to really work within you, and really, like, that's why for me, which whatever experience I go through in my life, whether if it's in my favor or not, I always like to know deep in my heart that, like, it's for the best, God knows what he's doing, <laughs> like literally when we think he's not doing anything, he is doing something, like when we're sleeping, he's literally doing something, like he's literally always, always, always like planning for us and he's always trying to pave the way that we never saw it coming and it's not easy to really be so antsy about like what's gonna happen next in the next two years or am i gonna get married it's all these like you know what 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 or why, why why like i am really trying to take on this new year of being 27 to just you know just let him take over stop worrying stop being anxious stop being frustrated stop being you know doubtful and to just take it all in and just see what God has in store. Like, I, again, as I said before, like, I always like to just know everything. And so that, like, I will be okay, I'm assured, everything's good. Call it a day. No. <laughs> With God, it's, as I said in my previous videos, it's just, you just have to let go and be still with Him. It's something that's, you know, it's so easy to say but not easy to do because, you know, with our secular world nowadays, it's always just like, you know, planning this, planning that, meeting here, meeting there, you gotta go there, you gotta finish this. It's all these like being torn, not torn, but just being pulled everywhere. And sometimes, yes, it's going to overwhelm you because be, because you're just like, oh, I'm tired, I can't do this. But no, like honestly, even, even being ambassador of Christ, like, yes, he will literally lead you to things and to tasks that you have to do, but, you know, honestly, don't give up. Just, God, you know, like, deep in your heart that God is right by your side, and God is right there holding your hand through the way. So, honestly, when you feel overwhelmed, just 
breathe, inhale, exhale, and just let him take over. You know, like, yes, you don't want to burn yourself out. That's the number one thing that, like, I don't want to see you guys go through because being burned out is honestly the worst, you know, recipe for disaster in regards to just forgetting it all, like, just drop dead and just forgetting it. But no, it's like, you know, it's just let, like, God lead the way. Like, when you're tired, just, like, Take a moment and just be like, hey, God, I'm tired. You know, I'm exhausted. You know, I'm trying you know, I'm trying my best for you. And, you know, just give me the strength. Give me the courage. Give me the guidance. Give me the endurance. Give me the patience to just keep on going even though I'm tired. You know, like God knows how you're feeling. And always remember that God will never give you something that you cannot handle like literally he knows what you can handle and he knows what you can't handle so that's why you know when it may seem that it feels so overwhelming and so exhausting god knows you can do it it's just you have to have the inner ambition and the inner feistiness to just get on your feet and be like i can do this just you know give me the strength and just let's do this let's keep on going you know and um that's why, like, you know, those were the inner thoughts that I was going through, like, in terms of embracing the tough times. And I'm hoping to really encourage you guys to do the same. Like, I know, I'm sure for those out there that are actually very involved in Young Out Ministries, I know it can get tiring. <laughs> and same with music ministry. For those that are in the music ministry, it can get exhausting, especially during, like, you know, the peak season, like Christmas, Easter's, like, back-to-back -back marathons. It, I get you, um, but like, that's why during this time of the whole quarantine and sadness and solitude, God's really giving us that opportunity to just be still with him, be still, and just like let him take over, let him re-energize you, let him detoxify all of your inner, you know, things that have been pulling you down on earth, and to just, you know, re-energize you and to revive you into someone better and um i think like how i look at it now in this whole quarantine that you know god's really making us to just you know relax in him and to really focus on him and to not let the world um really influence us to take our minds off from him because it doesn't mean like there's no church mass or anything no like there is we're still being active it's just we have to open our eyes to just you know be online with Christ and you know it can be a struggle at times because you know a lot of us tend to just you know take some time to just binge and forget about it but no like you know during this time we have to really like focus on him and uh Take that opportunity to grow with him right <sighs> i know i talk a lot sorry <laughs> but um i really want you guys to be really encouraged during this time and uh, it's not easy don't fall for the temptations of falling into binging and uh not doing anything and for us to really like endure what is to come you know we don't know what's gonna happen after this but i'm only hoping for the best God knows what's gonna happen next and I'm trying to really like you know take this time to uh, just be still with him let him work within me to see what's gonna what he wants from me and how he wants me to develop during this time of uh, solitude and uh, silence with him and for you guys like definitely for sure take this time to be you know silence with him and read up on scriptures read up on you know, spiritual readings, like, those are, like, some of the ways to be able to really, like, strengthen ourselves as well, too. Like, let God speak to you through scripture and let God speak to you through people that, you know, reach out to you in your life. And I really cherish those and really it's, without that, I wouldn't be where I am and how I would, how I am right now. And, um, Really, we just have to really be open to what God wants. It's a, again, we tend to just want what we want for ourselves and in the story, but when God really like places a plan in your life, 
like and you did not see it coming it's just like embrace it right you know we can we can plan so much for ourselves like so much ahead of ourselves but like you know when god kind of reroutes you to this pathway and not this pathway it's just like it can be frustrating at first because you're just like come on really <laughs> but no like the way i look at it now is just like you know god just just take me there like i i'm trying my best i always put myself out there i always you know do the best that i can that you want me to do uh to be in a master for you and i don't know like um i'm just uh hopeful to what you have in store and so that's why we have to have that mindset deep in our heart and engraved in our heart to really you know let god you know speak to us in certain ways that um you never know, start coming and so that's why like now we should really polish up on our on ourselves and our um our character to be more closer to christ and it's not easy because again you're gonna face these thoughts here and there to really embrace that but uh don't let it bother you you know god's with you just face those thoughts that you've been thinking about for the longest time and really put it to rest for his glory and you can do it really don't think that you can't like you actually can so as i said in my like previous videos like when you're going through that journey to really face your inner thoughts that you've been suppressing for so long just you know face them with god's guidance and strength and you know it, he will really be able to help you put it to rest and for you to really see you know why god did this in your life or why god blocked this in your life for a certain time of your life and you know for me like yeah like enjoying those thoughts that i've been having it wasn't easy at first as i said but you know the fact that i was able to really put it to rest and put it to sleep for good um with god's help and our blessed mother mary's help it really enabled me to feel lighter and to feel you know as if like a bucket of water off or, like off my shoulders as a burden and you know if without you know our blessed mother mary and god and jesus i wouldn't have been able to do that because i really made it a goal to really put it to rest before my birthday last tuesday and you know the fact that i was able to really put it to rest you know and that it feels so much lighter i can actually you know think clearer and um really embrace what god has in store i it was bothering me though for like three months and you know i told myself you know like regardless of what happens i did my best and during that time and the fact that like you know god put a blockage to it you know i embraced it you know and uh i told myself you know i did you know, I stayed to the very end, I tried my best, and, you know, I can only wish for the person to, you know, really, you know, embrace what God has planned for that person. And so, that's why, like, you know, it feels so much lighter to just, you know, surrender everything into God's hands and see what He'll do with it. You never know, really. It's, it's all a big mystery, but at the same time, though, it's like... You know, it's like a story that, you know, you don't know what's the next part about it. It's like one of those Harry Potter books that, like, the next book is coming out, but it's not out yet, but you want to read it. It's like, I remember that time when, like, the Harry Potter books were coming out. Okay, I'm not that old, but, like, <laughs> I'm probably sure for those that understand the Harry Potter series. <laughs> like, the books were coming out, like, book five is coming out. And then after reading that, I was like, oh, book six is not out, but I want to read it. It's like... Look at it in that perspective, how like, you know, you're, you should be excited to like know what's next, right? And it's going to be something good and I can guarantee that. So really, just think about it in that perspective that, you know, just be excited for what, you know, God has in store for you, really. And it's a game changer, at least for me. Like, I used to be very afraid of what will happen next, but now I'm just like, okay. What's next? Let's go, let's do this. Like, just uh, reveal it. And um, 
you know, it's all in that positive aspect that, I, you know, you'll never see it coming, you know, it's more like, a surprise like one of those kinder surprise chocolates where it's just like you eat the chocolate and then you don't know what the surprise is <laughs> like i always look forward to always what the toy is inside um and yeah just think about my perspective and let me know in the comments below how it is or you can private message me and yeah i'll love to be able to talk it out with you guys and yeah like that's what i've been like really thinking about it in that perspective and you know it's been great you know I last year around this time I did not see it you know that certain events were gonna happen in my life like for example the violin concert in February and all that stuff like all these like events here and there like in my life has really been like whoa <laughs> like I just didn't see that coming really I just kept on trying my best putting on first even if I'm exhausted as crash and burn, like, it's just, you know, I've been really embracing those times to just embrace what, you know, God has in store. So that's why, like, just place God first all the time in your life, in everything that you do, everything that you're passionate about, you know, if it's uh, being with people or it's, you know, reading a lot about him or anything, you know, just... You know, place God in the center of everything, all of your passions, and see where God, like, God will really, like, pave the way for you. And, you know, at times, yes, it can be a bit stressful because you don't, like, maybe you guys might be going through some circumstances in your life, and I understand that, and it can be very anxious in terms of, you know, your security and everything, I get it. But use those times as an opportunity to really solidify your trust in God the most and yes it's not easy because you're just like okay I don't have this 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 but I need this this stuff. yeah and you know it can be really tough you know being in that situation because you know you're thinking like hey I need these things now and I need to do things now but I don't have it you know that's why like when it comes to those times like that we really have to trust in God that like he will provide literally he will provide he God knows what we need God knows when we will need it and God knows everything and how we're feeling so that's why you know, in times like that, we have to really, like, remember and really engrave in our heart that, like, you know, He will provide. And it's true, really, because the moment that we really need something in our life, He's going to provide it, you know, the, in the least, you know, expected manner. And I've seen it. I've experienced it. I can testify to it, literally. So that's why, for sure, it's, like, it's an ultimate miracle when, like, you know, when you're so anxious about certain things in your life, and you're just like, Ugh. really? Like, I want this now, but not the. Put that behind you. Just forget it. Don't, don't think like that anymore. Because it's, it's just going to allow the enemy to just be like, yeah, well, you messed this up, and you made a mistake here, and now you're feeling this, and now you're feeling bad, so let's just dwell on that smart- No. Like, don't let the enemy, like, point at you at what you did wrong, or what you could have done right, and it's just- forget it. Like, honestly, it's not worth the thinking process. Like, I've gone there, and honestly, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's not a pleasant pathway, to be honest, because it just takes you into that tunnel pathway of just- depression, sadness, grief, despair, and it's all the negative, negative vibes, and it's the last place and thought, like, cubicle that you want to be in, and so that's why, like, I highly recommend for you guys to just, like, think about it in the context that I said earlier that, you know, just be excited, be enthusiastic for what God wants for you next, and to just embrace the graces and what God has for you in store and 
you know really like it's it's a miracle how god works and the specific time that you need something or the specific events that like surprise you that you and go like that you guys undergo and so really just be ready you know be ready for the best to come and be ready for the best of the best really and you never know what god has in store so i know this video is a little long i know i want to make up for yesterday missing out i was helping out my parents with errands and i have to be extra careful now that the virus is uh more uh risky um so yeah that's why like by the time i got home after doing the groceries and everything i was just like so pooped out <laughs> and so exhausted um so that's why i want to make this extra this video a little extra long so that like you guys are still full of pumped up with energy for christ and god and to really keep on staying positive during this quarantine time i know it can be a little bit lonely at times but you know we're not alone we have technology we have camera right here <laughs> and that phone well because i'm using a phone camera and um yeah and you can still reach out to those people like just call them up you know for those people that you haven't kept in touch with call them up just be like how are you doing is everything okay how's your family you know just call them up see how they're doing and you never know because really like everyone's going through different phases in their life you know if it's maybe recover recovering after breakup or maybe family issues or work issues i know people are getting laid off right now so even more so so just and even for those that are still working during this time and going out and working you know and risking themselves so really just you know it doesn't hurt to pick up the call the phone and just call you know those people in your life and you know and it doesn't it's there's no harm in just being like how's everything are you okay and you never know where it might lead to i mean honestly like again god speaks to us in various manners through people in our hearts in our minds in our intellect in our inner thoughts you know and everything so really just be sure in your heart that like you know it's god though because sometimes the, the enemy might just be like you know trying to lure in into you know falling into your temptations and yeah like you really have to you know like feel in your heart that is it you know the enemy trying to like lure you in or is it god speaking to you you know and um only you can determine that i can't your best friend can't your parents can't only between you and god really so honestly like um you know that's why it's sometimes like it's best to have a spiritual director as well too um so that like you're following the right pathway and you're not alone and so at least like you know you're not just sitting there with your thoughts thinking that's from god or maybe you're going crazy like you never know that's why like you know if you're really going through that whole thought process in your mind constantly you're trying to just figure out if it's god or the enemy god or the enemy it, it's best to have like you know a spiritual director um to really like you know keep you aligned and just be like on track and just be like hey so maybe this is just your emotions and this one's probably just you know that's actually god speaking to you right so yeah i have one as well so that's why like i'm able to you know, speak to my spiritual director about, uh, you know, everything that I'm going through and uh, certain things in my life. So, yeah, I mean, for those that are really going through that process and have a spiritual director, great, you know? Um, you know, don't forget to keep in touch with them all the time. <laughs> and, um, but going back to, like, you know, being still with God is really important. And especially during this time, like, we really have to really be still with him and see what he has in store so you know i as much as i know this video is super long and for those that have lasted this long thank you so much i again it means a lot to me how you know for those that are tuning in thank you
Um, I know probably you guys have other events to attend to online, but uh, for those that actually, you know, come and watch, thank you again. Um, again, I'm really trying my best to uh, really utilize this time um, for Christ and, you know, it's something very new to me. Like, I'm not, I've never actually done this before, but uh, I feel like, you know, God's really leading me to do this. And it's very outside of my comfort zone, but I know it's for the best. It's for minor growth as well, too, and it's hopefully helps for you guys as well. Um, again, we have to really constantly strive for us to become better disciples of Christ and, you know, and to not waste any moment, any blessing, any day that God gives us. And, you know, it's, again, it's a journey that's not traveled much but it's a journey worthwhile for all of us to really follow and um yeah it's a pathway less traveled but you know at the end of the at the end of the pathway you know it's god's just waiting there like hello my child you did it you know and um that's what i always look forward to like you know god just being like i'm cheering for you come on let's go let's go you can do it you know and um yeah, I think about it that way, and for sure it's worth it. So, before I keep you guys here any longer, again, I want to thank you for those who came by to tune in to watch this video. It means a lot to me. I highly recommend that you guys actually, before you guys like watch any of these videos, to actually take a seat or like and or you know just get comfortable and just like you know have a cup of tea for coffee next to you not coffee because i want you guys to go to bed but like just maybe like um you know maybe a cup of water to at least like you guys can actually really like you know just listen to the video <laughs> and hear a comfort instead of just like you know just like waiting a minute like oh she's done talking yet <laughs> um again i know i talk a lot um, but when I'm very passionate about something, um, I, sometimes I need to know what to put a cap <laughs> on it, but, um, yeah, like, honestly, like, I feel these videos so far has really worked for me, like, personally, and, um, you know, for, God, for you, for those out there that are very extroverted and social butterflies, give it a shot, and, you never know how God's gonna work within you. Um, and for those that are introverted as well too, try things outside of your comfort zone. Don't be too, you know, don't hold yourself back too much. Don't suppress things that, you know, you think that should be in a cap, <laughs> in, a, in a cage, but like, you know, you're just kind of keeping it there. No, just, you know, just like let yourself go, let yourself be. You know, if you want to try new things, try it out, you know, um, as long as you know yourself the best and, you know, if it's too much to bear, then at least, you know, at the back of your mind that you actually gave it a shot and you gave it, you, you know, you gave it a chance and, um, you know, you never know where it might be. I mean, where it might lead you, really. Um, I've tried new things in my life and definitely for sure, like, I'm just like, wow, <laughs> like, I didn't think I would like this, you know, and I didn't think I would like that. It's just, just give it a try because, like, the last thing in the world I want you guys to think in the back of your mind is just being like, I wish I tried that. Bubbles coming out. <laughs> um, but um, really, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, for you, during this time, think about the things that you want to do better for yourself and for Christ. And before I go on any further, I'm going to try to practice being um, sound and solitude God, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!